Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today, for today's video I actually kind of want to talk about something that's been going on a lot recently that I've noticed. Um, so that particular thing is that of the idea that a lot of people who try to join groups whether, regardless of what that kind of group is, I've noticed, at least acknowledged, I should say, recently that every time something like that happens, it all it always seems like they're... I mean, they, they get welcomed by word, but by action, the people get very excluded. Like, they'll join, but no one will really properly they'll say oh yeah you, you're welcome to come aboard blah 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 but when it comes down to it like the activities they're it's like they're getting pushed aside and they're on their own now admittedly where this idea is coming from is actually religion but like kind of is a little bit of a backstory for you guys um I do have a very specific religion that I believe in. I'm not going to say what it is or anything. Anybody who watches this channel who knows, well, it's just because I'd rather leave religion as a whole and the like, topics of religion as a whole just kind of off the channel. Um, <clears throat> and these the, the religion that I do have kind of created the beliefs that I have for the most part. Some of the morals I have are based around it, but some of them are actually based on otherwise. And approaching the particular church that is part of it, I started to notice that a lot of people had a tendency to shun converts. People who were not part of the church originally and joined would always seem to get shunned or looked down on in some kind of way. Did this always happen? No. I saw this and I wondered, does this happen with any church? I asked around. Turns out, yeah. Any religion, this is the case. This is kind of where I started digging for the topic that we're talking about today. Um... And the his, history shows it's not just religion either. School groups, for example. Say, say you're part of, I don't know, the chess club in your high school. Or some colleges do it too, so either or. And you, someone just joined who was probably originally part of, I don't know, the debate club. People originally look down and you're like, well, someone's got to stand up for them. It, it's... This kind of thing happens in any circumstance, whether it's clubs, politics, religion, um, <clears throat> just generic school groups. Like, say you have a group of friends you hang out with and someone joined, this will probably happen to them from a large chunk of that group. The fact of the matter is, no matter who you are or what kind of category you're talking about, this has a tendency... People who convert into these groups... It has a tendency to happen a lot to those people who convert from one thing to another. And it's just sad. For all you know, like, say, I don't know, say you're talking about, we're talking about, like, in, I don't know, school. You're part of a group that was hated on by another group. One person from that other group left the group and wanted to join yours and was welcome, at least by you. But half of the group just kind of shuns them and hates on it. They accept the fact that this person is now part of your group, but these other people are just hateful or despicable against the person just because they were part of that other group. For all, for all these people knew, that person probably had a good reason for leaving, and it probably benefited or helped your group accept them if they actually dug to find out why. That's kind of the major issue with this thing, though. People who are converts of any kind have a tendency to get hated on 
because of the fact that people don't think of why the conversion was happening in the first place. If they knew that reason, they'd probably be a bit more accepting. I don't know. Say someone who was, I don't know, I th- you know what, I, th- I think that example I gave earlier says enough anyway. I was going to give another example, but let's e- turn back to the example I just gave. The, why did the person join the your friend group? For, that person, turns out that person, they started getting hated on themselves. It seemed like a joke to the individuals at first, but in reality, it was hard-hitting on some very serious topics, so they left and joined your group through... I don't know, let's say you. Let's say they talked to you. You were skeptical at first, but they explained what was going on. You were le- you felt bad, so you let them join. In the long run, turns out it was a good idea. They, you and them became one of the closest of all friends. Situations like this happen all the time. But the sad part is, the vast majority of people don't pay attention to the idea that there may be good reason for the transfer. But when you don't consider that, you're not an ex- as accepting as you could be. And it's just hurtful. Now, I'm actually saying that last part out of freaking experience. I've gone through that kind of idea before. Specifically with school. I've gone through that idea on the front that, well, back in high school, I used to be part of this friend group. I was accepted into the friend group when it was not really even built yet. It grew, and eventually, well, people started leaving the group, you know, to spend time with other friends. And eventually, you know, the the group kind of just parted. The group was still there, but it was different people. Kind of like a club. It was like an unofficial school club. (laughs) But eventually I left. And I joined another group. But that group that I joined, which actually had... So, my high school best friend, he's the one who put me in the group in the first place. I went to join the group that he had left to go join, and... He was accepting of it. It was a group of like five people. Him and one other person were, but the other three were very negligent. And very remissive, maybe. I don't know if that's the right term I'm looking for, but maybe. Yeah. The thing is, those three individuals were very wisey here. He's not one of us, kind of thing. But... I mean, at the, at the point in time this happened, I didn't care. If someone were to say that about me now, I'd be like, screw you guys, I'm gone. But at that point in time, I had a little bit more patience than I do now, admittedly. Not by much, but I also didn't exactly have much reason. Much, re- much of a reasoning thought process. I was kind of in the mindset of, Go with the flow, do whatever you want, it doesn't matter, live your life to the fullest. A hundred percent. No logic, no reason, I just did that. So at the time, yeah, I would have just brushed it aside and gone, whatever. And at the time, though, looking back, it may have actually been smarter for me to actually leave the group and go look somewhere else. Because, sure, my high school best friend was there. And, again, a friend of mine, or someone who became a friend of mine in the long run, was there as well. But the fact of the matter is, even though they were that, and they accepted me as was, and they kind of welcomed into the group more, they still weren't very much there. And that kind of led me to understand what it felt like to be that way. Now, the more common, the most common way to go about uh, the idea I'm presenting, unfortunately, is religion, like what I said earlier. 
from what I understand it, there are two religions that have it the hardest. Catholic Church being one of them, and the other being the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or, as it's more commonly known, the Mormon Church. Those two churches have a tendency to have the hardest hits on that front, from what I understand. Um, I may be wrong, or it may be the same for all religions. I don't know. But those are the two I most hear about myself. And fact of the matter is it's just pathetic they're there for to learn and to take what they now to take you know what they learn and create their own beliefs based off what they did and it's the same concept with like generic groups too they go there to be part of a group and take what they can from it they don't these people don't go to these different groups to be bullied out of it they go to it to experience what the group is there for but like I said people don't seem to get that and those who transfer or convert converts again um, just don't get to experience the good experiences that they desired because of people like this now bear in mind this does not the people who do turn down these individuals it doesn't particularly make them bullies keep that in mind as i'm talking about this i mean we're coming to a close very soon on it anyway but i i figured i'd throw that out there it doesn't make the people bullies it just makes them very remissive it makes them very negligent and realistically depending on what's going on in their lives it can be understandable but it can also not be they probably have good reason for it. Maybe they've given life, people in life, a chance to a number of times where it's like, you know what, I'm done. They're going to have to prove that they can show it first. Until then, I'm not going to show that acceptance at all. This is one hypothetical scenario of several. Now, the only reason I said that last bit is I'm trying to point out the idea that this is still one of those circumstances where there are two sides to the coin. Sure... The side of respecting and accepting is way more highly looked on, but that doesn't mean that other side doesn't exist. However, like was originally talked about, it, it doesn't make it okay. It does not make it okay to subside or neglect the person who wants to join. It makes it more understandable of why it's happening, but it doesn't make the action of doing it okay. Either way around, though, yeah, I'm pretty much going to leave this here. What are your guys' thoughts on this topic? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out anything else that's been discussed or ranted about on this channel, click link on this side of my head. Over 300 videos talking about random different topics. Some psychological, some IRL-based. Depends. Or, if this isn't quite floating your boat, but you stuck to the end, first of all, thank you. It's much appreciated. Every minute counts on this channel nowadays. But second of all, if that is the case, why not click the link on the other side where you might find something you may enjoy a little bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for tuning into this video, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.